talk about labour, we tend to divide it into three different stages, just for ease of reference. But when you're actually going through labour, you probably won't necessarily be aware of what stage you're in at any particular time, um, or of when the next stage is going to come. However, it can be helpful to have a, a bit of an understanding of what to anticipate as labour goes along, so that you've got a vague idea of where you are and how much st of your journey you still have to travel. So the first stage of labour is the dilating of the cervix. The cervix is the neck of the womb and at the beginning of labour it's very tightly closed and then as labour continues it opens up and opens up until it's about 10 centimetres across which is big enough for the baby's head to pass through and into the birth canal. So this stage of labour is the longest part and within the first stage the longest bit of it is the beginning part, so dilating from a tightly closed cervix to approximately three or four centimetres dilated. This is known as early labour or the latent phase of labour um, and tends to be much longer in relation than the rest of the first stage of labour is. For many women, the hardest part of the first stage of labour is the very end of it, which is known as transition, where she's opening up those last couple of centimetres from about eight to 10 centimetres. The second stage of labour is the birth of the baby. So at this point, the contractions may feel very different and the mum will have a desire to push her baby out. So up until the second stage, there has been no pushing. The pushing happens when the baby is ready to be born. And the third stage of labour is the birth of the placenta. This comes after the baby, sometimes quite soon after, sometimes an hour or more after, but until the placenta has been born, the birth is not finished. So over the next four videos, we're gonna look at each of these stages of labour in more detail to give you a better understanding of what to anticipate.